Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake with me, Jerupidus, and we are continuing on with our uh, Claire B scenario, and right now we have a lot to do. Um, I did leave a couple of things behind right outside the door, so we'll be sure to pick those up, but unfortunately right now I don't have any keys, which is a little bit concerning. But I think we're just going to keep exploring and figure things out as we go. Let's go ahead and take this flash grenade with me. I can definitely do that because they stack. And I feel like I should probably have a healing item with me. And that looks pretty good for now. So let's get a move on. So let's pick up these things. And as I recall, there is a uh, window right over here that I can just board up immediately. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh boy. I could leave these behind, but I don't really want to. Jesus. Um, just because we have so much left to do in here. Oh, she's getting back up already. That's just wonderful. Oh no. There we go. Oh, there's another one? They just keep coming in here. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely don't want one between me and the safe room for later. How did that miss? That was right on there. Okay. That looks pretty tidy to me. Now, one place I haven't been is the West Office. So, I suppose we can go ahead and check that out. More gunpowder, I like that. Uses of gunpowder. Uh, we'll go ahead and read this even though we already know it. Um, because it is a little bit different in this scenario. So we get handgun ammo, that's gunpowder times two. And it's worth noting that that handgun ammo doesn't actually go in the six shooter that we have. It goes in the other gun that we have put away for now. But that may end up coming up uh, if I get too low on bullets for this. Anyway, uh, acid rounds are gunpowder and high grade white. And then submachine gun ammo is double high grade white. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention to when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. We will be doing that for sure. Now there's a safe in here, same as before, but we don't know the combination yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Oh, and there's the uh, Leon's desk puzzle. That's still here, so we're definitely going to want to do that, but let's read the operation report for right now. Uh, September 28th to 30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. And so we're working on the same thing, uh, you know, like more of a uh, wide scope view of getting to that tunnel. But we have a lot to do in here for right now, so let's check out this note. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting on you a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer, Lieutenant Branagh. And scrawled in a corner between drops of blood, be glad you're not here, rookie. And so this is going to be exactly the same as before. So if I remember right, this one's Ned, N-E-D. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then the other one, I don't actually remember off the top of my head. M, R, G. Well, that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put that in. M, R, G. And the speed loader for the SLS-60. Now, that is not the gun we're currently using, unfortunately. 
So we're gonna have to wait to put that together until we get back to the box. Boy, they really uh, keep you tight on bullets for this six shooter. I'm telling you, whenever you find a drop, it's just like one or two. Um, but there is a fun Easter egg in here that I wanted to point out that I forgot to point out when we were uh, playing Leon A, and that is the Welcome Leon sign. I did take a look at this, but um, the Easter egg is that you'll notice there's a little gap between well and come. Um, and the reason for that is that the second L that doesn't belong has fallen down here. And that's a reference to the first game where the word welcome is misspelled. And I think that's a really nice touch. I say a lot that this game has a lot of respect for the source material, and it's actually quite incredible how uh, well they know their source material. Another locked door there. I'm just going to mark that on my map. I'm hearing him. That one got up. Okay. Ugh, I really... I'm on six bullets. I really don't feel like I can bother... I think we just gotta go. But one thing that I want to point out really quick, if I could pull up the map here, is that you'll notice this uh, spade door um, means that there are a lot of dead ends right now, which is not good. Okay, there's the safety deposit room. We've already been in there, and we can't do anything with that for now. So I think what I want to do... Okay, locker room cap. That's worth remembering. It's the same as before, so even if you don't end up passing that, or if you don't notice it, uh, you don't really need to. All of the combinations, I believe, are the same, except for maybe the safe ones get randomized. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and run back to the main area quick, and we're gonna hit... There's, like, the bathroom... Yeah, I'm gonna be careful over here. This is a liquor hallway. There's like the press room and there's a bathroom over there. Yep, there he is. Yikes. I do like to run at the last minute. Just to make him scream. Yeah, we missed one or two rooms on this side. So I feel like we may as well get those done. We can get the lights on in here. And this one's gonna have, like, one bullet for us or something. <laughs> Wonderful. And I believe that's it. Yep, map says it's clear, so let's keep going. And we're gonna hit that bathroom as well. which is directly behind me. I feel a little bit more comfortable going to the ladies' room as Claire. But fortunately, we're not going to bother anyone who's alive, so... <laughs> now, let's see. The right side is pretty much clear then, so we can hit those back stairs over by the dark room. And I will probably swing by the box before we head up those stairs just to drop a few things off. Let's make sure we're walking. Now, I don't know if I ever, uh really finish talking about my feelings about the liquors. I like and I don't like their design. I feel like just getting to walk past them makes them less scary. But all they're really supposed to be is a kind of speed bump when it comes to running away from the tyrant. But they are definitely a much more formidable enemy. So there's, I don't know, things I like about their design and things I don't. Can I board this up? I don't have any boards on me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we want to come this way. And let's see. Yep, that's the heart door. We cleared the west office. 
So why don't we drop off a couple of things and then we'll head on upstairs. Um, I guess we can go ahead and combine the uh, reloader just so that I don't forget to do it. And it just allows you to um, reload your uh, teeny tiny little handgun a little bit faster. But for now, I won't be using that. I'll probably pull it out later when we have a little bit more space. And yeah, I think one healing item should be good. And now we're ready to head up this way. Now, I think I want to go all the way up. Oh, that gave me a little bit of a start. Oh, that was some terrible, terrible shooting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was an enormous waste of ammo. Oh dear. Well, the good news is we know this one. This one is Cap. Oh, this is not the uh, locker room one. Okay, so I suppose we don't know this one for now. But we do get a spade key, which is very, very nice indeed. That's going to let us unlock a bunch of stuff. Ooh, okay. More gunpowder and some boards. Sure, why not? Now, I do believe the locker room is this way, which is why I got confused. Ah, oh, cool. The library's right here. Okay, I, I have my bearings. And this is going to be that note, some guy's scribblings, that's going to talk about the C4. So damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I got to do is detonate it and it's sayonara suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. And here's where we need to set that C4. Now, we do already have the uh, device, but we don't have the battery yet. But I think for now, what I want to do is go ahead and unlock some of those doors. Ooh, here we go. And some uh, large caliber handgun ammo. So this is for the M19 and the Quick Draw Army. Um, and it's just like stronger bullets, I guess. Now did that... Maybe it can like mix the rounds? Interesting. I don't really want to waste those, but I don't know that I have very much other choice. I do wish that I had a combat knife. Oh. <laughs> I think that did it. Okay. Now, there are going to be a few more in here. There's my red book. We're going to need that to complete that statue puzzle. Wonder how much damage that did. There we go. Wonder if that was one of my high powered rounds or not. Oh no. 
Yep, let's get you, uh, to stop doing that. Still going. All right, now your arm's off. Now. Is there anything else I can find in here? Doesn't seem that way. And I don't feel the need to uh, plummet through the ground, but let's go ahead and unlock this door. Because I like uh, eliminating dead ends. Did I check down here? I suppose I did. Now, once again, I don't know the thing for this because our uh, document is... has it completely obscured. Don't know what to make of that. Maybe we'll come up with the combination a little bit later. Now, if I remember right, this was a spade door over here, but let's find out. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. Oh. Shit. Oh no. Well, that is a problem. Okay. So here's the plan. Let's go ahead and get back to the box. And we'll um go ahead and make some handgun bullets and grab our other gun, I suppose. That is quite a pain though. You kind of can't do the Leon thing and just kill everything you see, it seems like. And they're both, like, inconveniently far, both boxes. But let's make it happen. Oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe I can run for it after that stab. I think he's still coming. Yep. Okay. That should be good, and then those zombies are just the ones through the windows. Oh, he's still out here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All I wanted to do was go to the box so I could have some bullets. Wow, he's still aggroed on me? That's so weird. Okay. Well, that was an amazing waste of resources. Wow. All right, get me to the dark room. I feel like uh, the rules for liquors are a little bit changed. Whereas before, I used to be able to just literally uh, pop in the other room and they would be reset. And now, it seems like they're still aggroed on you for a little while, even when you do that. All right, so let's grab some gunpowder. That is a pretty decent reload speed, I suppose. Faster than the uh, quick draw, ironically. And let's see, we've got a green herb and we've got a mixture. So let's go ahead and grab that. But I don't think I want to use that right away. I think I'd rather just use my, like, triple mix. 
And let's see, I've still got a first aid spray, so I think I'll just take that with me. And let's get back to what we were doing. I feel like there were a few more things upstairs, actually, so maybe we should just go do that. Oh, men's locker room. Okay, perfect. Haha. -ha. Let's go ahead and use our round handle. That'll switch that off. And then this is gonna this is gonna be the jump scare again. Yep. <laughs> Same as last time. But you're not gonna get me again. And what do I get for this? More flame rounds. Neat. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out, and you will need to start the sequence over again. Yep, we already know that, but here's our bejeweled box, and that is very nice indeed. Now, I feel like I don't want to go this way quite yet for reasons. <laughs> So we'll just leave that as it is for now, and we'll continue exploring uh, the library, I think. Oh, I almost missed these. Three whole bullets, neat. You know, I do really like the six-shooter. I like how fast it shoots. It seems really good, but the ammo on it's really tight, and, you know, that is a little bit my fault, but still, it seems, uh... Very stingy, I would say. One of the, uh... One of my favorite stories, and I kind of can't believe I haven't told this story yet, is how Resident Evil sort of came to be. And now this is not, of course, like, the literal only thing that led to it, but it was a major part of this series of games getting created. And to be clear, Resident Evil is Capcom's best-selling game series of all time. It's, like, incredibly successful. It's got movie franchises. It's absolutely enormous. And what happened was Shinji Mikami went and saw a movie called Zombie. It's an Italian movie, uh, and I've seen the movie, and I didn't think it was that bad. A zombie gets eaten by a shark at one point. Um, but Shinji Mikami would disagree. He thought that that movie sucked so much <laughs> that he made a game about it. He thought to himself, uh, this movie is so bad I could make something better than this. And that is a huge part of how Resident Evil got created. Which is just amazing to me. Alright, so that's the end of the spade key. And I think what I want to do is get back up to the library. Because that's where our progress got blocked earlier. Due to me being out of bullets by being kind of a bad shot. There were definitely some pretty terrible shots I took there. Now, we have not been this way yet. Ooh, the map. Okay. Perfect. And now we've got this, uh... This is the unicorn. Now, let's take a look at our documents. Now, the scrap of paper's got the twins and the, uh, like, scales. And I guess we just have to, like, brute force it, maybe? And I'm just gonna guess. Whoops. So let's go, like, snake. No. Other snake. Okay, perfect. <laughs> There's our first medallion. I'm gonna go put that back right away. Feels like we're making some progress, right? I still don't know what to do about the uh, lion one. Maybe I'm supposed to remember from the other scenario? I don't know. I like that. All right, let's keep exploring this way. Ooh, a box. 
Let's take a look at it. Okay, the lion statue. Perfect. We gotta get back to the dark room at some point. Should we do that now? I mean, we just went there. But we are pretty full up. Yeah, I mean, we're like totally full. I guess we should. Uh, that's kind of... <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be my fault. Like I'm not playing this with an actual plan. But it's my first time. You'll just have to forgive me for that. Now, is there a better way to do this? Oh, yeah, I can just use the West Office now. That way I don't have to go through the liquor hallway. I would like to avoid that hallway. Maybe we'll deal with it when I get the grenade launcher, but I kind of feel like that might be a waste. Could swear I left a guy in there, but he didn't seem to bother me. Okay, let's develop that film. Bam, that's how we get it. Okay. I appreciate that. Now let's put a bunch of crap away. Yep, all of that stuff is good. I guess maybe I'd like to have my six shooter on me. But I think we're okay for now. Now we can take the West Office back to the main hall and uh, go right ahead and finish solving the puzzle on the lion statue. And I probably should have taken a more careful look at it, but we'll just look at it again. <laughs> so, Crown Fire Bird. Brown, fire, and birdie. Let's put that in. Okay, getting closer. Now, we still need to put together the C4, but we need the battery for the thing, so let's see. You know what? Let's get back to the other side. That's where we ran out of bullets. And I'm sure that I'll get my hands on the combination to that safe sooner than later. Because I definitely do want to do all the lockers and safes, same as last time. Alright, this guy's going to be, like, right here. There he is. Jesus. He looks like he doesn't have a mark on him. Oh my god. You asshole. Tell him, Claire. Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. He's not even trying to get through. Oh, he just wandered off. Oh, there's more? Oh, no. Wow, she is real scary. Ooh, but I critted her. I like that. Boy, what a pain. No combat knife still. Man, they, they're pretty stingy with the combat knives in this scenario, I feel. Oh, so I'll need my red book for in there. And there's nothing I can do here currently. 
but I do get the weapons locker key card, so that's great. That'll give us something to do on our uh, run back. And here's our art article for the Red Stone, the ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But, dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. And that's our clue that we gotta combine the uh, jewel he's holding with the bejeweled box, but we don't have it for now, but we do get to get our hands on the, uh grenade launcher, which I want to do, like, right now. Now, one thing I could do is check back over here again and make sure I didn't miss anything. So I definitely can't get past the burning helicopter for right now. So while we're kind of backtracking and checking things, why don't we take a second to get mentally organized? Now, I still need the battery for the C4 detonator. I'll need to hit the item box to grab my red book to complete the statue puzzle to get the red jewel, and I still want to use my weapons locker key card. So we started this episode with a lot to do, and we uh, still have a lot to do. <laughs> oh, you know what? There is another window over here I could board up. Might as well. Now, where is my safe box? It not being in the main area has really been kind of giving me fits. So we'll go to the dark room again. But this time we can use our uh, weapons locker key card, which will finally let us get our hands on that sweet, sweet grenade launcher. Oh, and I want to take the west office, not this way. <laughs> Go ahead and take this guy out. Nice. Ooh, I'm excited to get my hands on this. Awesome. The GM-79. It's capable of firing flame and acid rounds. So they kind of simplified the number of different rounds. I remember there being, like, at least in uh, Nemesis, there were regular flame, acid, and maybe even freeze, but maybe I'm... Maybe I'm thinking, like, freeze were just in Nemesis. And now I'm not sure if it works the same way in this game, but in those games, you could have sort of an infinite stack of rounds, so let's find out. And it can only hold one round at a time, which can be a little bit of a liability, but trust me, this thing is pretty sweet. Alright, so let's get organized here. So I can even understand how many things I have. I think that's good for now. And I feel like right now is a good time to take a break, and we'll get to tackling all of the other errands we've got to run in the police station before we get out of here next time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.